Well, first off, congrats on a great season. And uh, with a just emotionally fueled 28 point win over Sycamore the other day, and just throughout the whole season, what have been the defining moments for this team? Uh, I think just the consistency of staying together as a team. I mean, we've believed in each other since day one. Um, we've done a lot of things away from the field that have brought us together. And we just, the biggest thing is the consistency of believing in each other. And how do you get the same emotion that you got out of your boys on Friday? How do you get that emotion evoked out of them for the Saturday night's game? Well, I think we get back to work just like we did yesterday. You know, we get in the strength room. We had a good half an hour workout. I think it, uh, the coaches said it was the best one we've had all year. So there's a lot of energy that we're still kind of living off of from last Friday and, and the big win and the push into the playoffs. And so I'm sure this week will be interesting as far as maybe Wednesday or Thursday we might hit a little bit of a stale point and, mm -hmm. and how we work through that as a team will be a huge, uh, huge uh, sign for, for where we're at. Yeah, and when you left X as a coach, if somebody would have told you in the 2011 playoffs you'd be on the opposing sideline as Coach Specht, what would you have said to them? Uh, I'd say... I'd say I'm, I'm a lucky person. I'm a fortunate person. I mean, you look at the, 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 the school. I, I love this school. Uh, I've been here for 11 years, even through my years of coaching at, at that blue and white school. I, mm -hmm. I, I love this place, and, and this has been our goal since when we took over. And, um, you know, I'm just very fortunate. Mm -hmm. And what aspects, if any, of the Sandex program have you took and applied to here at Mason? Uh, I think just the whole football family and mm -hmm. staying together and uh, you know one focus um, Steve at, I'll be indebted to him the rest of my life he's done a great great job of mentoring me through my years of being there as an assistant coach and so you know I, I think the biggest thing is the family approach mm -hmm. and, and just keeping everybody together yeah, and looking at this year's team how do you prepare for Connor Hundley the most consistent offensive threat they have. What are you guys going to do to try to contain them? Well, I hope we get 11 hats to the ball. And I understand that, you know, one one guy is not going to bring him down every time. We might get him a couple times, but we need to get 11 hats to the ball. We need to fly to the ball. We need to be relentless. And um, we need to make sure that Connor Hundley knows who he played at the end of the night. Right. And, like, next week, if you're looking back at it, you guys are still alive in the playoffs. So why are you guys still alive? Because of this senior class. The senior class is pretty special. And then come Saturday night, 6.30 in the Sanex locker room, what are you going to be saying to the boys? You're getting what you deserve. You're getting what you deserve. They've worked their butt off for a year and a half, two years to get to this point. They, they get what they deserve, and, and the outcome will be exactly what they deserve. And looking back at this season as a whole, what's truly made it so special for you guys? Um, the family atmosphere of, of this senior class and the staff that we put together, uh, they're all great people. Um, yes, you can get in your arguments every once in a while, or you can get in your debates, whatever you want to call them, but this is a pretty tight family where we look out for each other and uh, we're doing it with great people, people that you want to sit around and talk with and, and know that they're going to be with you during adverse times. Okay. Thanks so much for your time, Coach. Yeah. Thank you.